Welcome back to another video from my bedroom floor. <laughs> I'm hiding from my kids. It's still summer holidays and this is the only quiet spot in the house. Evelyn is having a nap. So let's dive straight into this week's video. One of the biggest questions I had before moving to Ireland was how much is it going to cost? Um, the day-to-day -day life, monthly expenses, how much is it going to cost? And really how long is a piece of string it's so different for each family and each individual moving over here it's so hard to give that answer so i just thought i would give to you our expenses it's always good to have um, a well-rounded understanding of what things cost so before you move over here are some things to take into consideration now number one on my list is rent Rent can vary depending on whether you are living in a city or out in the country. We live in a small town called Dungarvan. Rent here isn't that cheap. A typical three bedroom semi detached could put you back about a thousand eight hundred a month. A two bedroom is going for about 1200 to 1400 a month and a one bedroom seems to be going for between 800 and 1000 Now that is in a small town. In a city like Dublin, a three bedroom you'd be expected to pay around 2000 um, if not more, 2000 to 2500 euros per month. So rent would be your biggest expense. Now, groceries. This will be different for every family. Everybody shops differently. Everybody likes different things, different foods, different quality of food, uh, different quantity of food. So for this, I'll give our price, but it might not be the same as yours. And what I found quite helpful before we moved is I went on to a website, Tesco's website, and I did a quick online shop. For what I would buy for myself and our family on a weekly basis and I did that little shop and it kind of gave me a good idea of what I would be spending every month so our grocery bill seems to average around a hundred euros per week so let's call it 400 a month and that's on average what we spend number three would be electricity Back in South Africa, we only had one service provider providing the electricity and you just had to grin and bear it. Here in Ireland, you have a choice. So shop around, see who's going to give you the better package according to your needs. Um, we pay on average 150 euros every two months. So that works out great for us. We found pay as you go more expensive. In a contract so we initially started with pay as you go and we we're spending about a hundred euros a month um, every month and now we are spending 150 euros every two months which that suits us down to the ground we're very happy with that price one thing that kind of shocked me coming to Ireland is you don't pay for water water is free in South Africa you pay for water and if you have a leak you pay for water so it, you that's a good thing water is free um, yeah so that's one positive another expense to think about would be your mobile data we have a contract with with um, air mobile and we pay 10 euros a month each so myself James and Josh we're each on it, so it'll be 30 euros for all three of us. But the 10 euros give us unlimited data, which is amazing. I really think that that is a good deal. So 10 euros, if you're a single person, for us as a family, we're paying 30 euros a month for mobile data. Another important expense would be um, our Wi-Fi at home, our internet at home. We also have a contract with Air and we pay 35 euros a month on that and that's unlimited refuse removal so um there are places if you decide not to 
get your rubbish removed from your house. There are places you can take your rubbish to. Um, there's glass recycling bins in town. You can go drop off your glass. There is a place you can take your rubbish to. You do have to pay still to go and take your rubbish. They weigh it and you dispose of it. We found it much better just to have someone come and collect our rubbish. They come every Friday and one week they'll take our general waste and then the next week they'll do our recycling and compost and that costs us 24 euros every month which I find quite reasonable and they're taking our stuff away they provide you with the bins and yeah we're very happy with the service and also there's many providers so you can shop around and decide who you want to go to what package you want to use and uh, we dispose of our own glass so we don't pay for a bin for that we just do the compost recycling and general waste a very important one is your TV license because without that I promise you right now there will be a man knocking at your door asking why don't you have a TV license so um, TV license costs us 13 euros and 33 cents every month you can pay yearly i'm not quite sure what the yearly fee is but um so every month there's just a debit order on my account for 13 euros and 33 cents owning a car in ireland can be quite expensive so there's things that you need to take into consideration the age of the car um the older the car the more insurance you're going to pay Coming over from South Africa, trying to get a company to give us car insurance was a little bit tricky and for whatever reason they didn't accept um, our no claims bonus, which meant we didn't have any claims in the previous years before coming to Ireland, but they just decided that that wouldn't count. So when we first got a car, it cost us 115 euros every month to insure the car. And when we started the insurance, we had to pay a hundred euro deposits and then 115 euros every month. Now that we've been here almost three years, my insurance premiums have dropped down to 45 euros a month. So it does show you that if you have no claims with the company, they do look after you and they give you a massive discount every year. So we've gone down from 115 euros every month to 45 so that's great suits us down to the ground and also in that time we went from owning an older um, golf to now a newer toyota so it also shows you that they will give you a better premium for a newer car every year you have to pay tax on your car now they give you a choice you can either renew the tax every three months or you can do a one year once off payment uh, we've opted just to do every three months so we pay 76 euros every three months to um, cover our motor tax i think that works out to be I wrote it down 304 euros for the year so if we wanted to we could pay that but it really doesn't make a difference whether you are doing it um every three months or once a year it's the same price and i'm sitting so strangely my foot has gone dead <laughs> i need to move Another thing to think about is um, when you own a car, you have to take it for NCT every year or a newer car, I think it's every two years. So that's almost like a um, roadworthiness test and they check your car, they check the brakes, they check the lights, they check everything. They put it on a machine and they make sure that it can run properly on the road. And that is, I think it's 55 euros for that test every year or every two years, depending on the age of your car. So that's another thing just to take into consideration. Now, unless you have an electric car, petrol is crazy expensive at the moment. It's costing us about 70 euros, if not a bit more, to fill up the car. Unless you've got a couple trips like us going up and down to Dublin, then it's going to be more. So, yeah, petrol is quite expensive at the moment. So that's something to think about. Okay, so depending on your lifestyle, another thing to take into consideration would be your monthly subscriptions. So for us, we subscribe to Netflix and Prime 
and we have Xbox Live for the boys to play um, on their Xbox. So Netflix adds up to about six euros per month. Prime video, which includes free Amazon delivery, um, that is seven ninety nine. But I think it's going up next month to eight ninety nine a month. And then the Xbox is eight ninety nine. So that's another thing to think about. Now, as far as moving over to Ireland, we made the decision that we did not want to bring our furniture. So we basically sold everything or gave it away. We started with the suitcases that we came over with and we shipped over about 15 boxes. Not very big boxes. Um, those boxes just contained our memories, our sentimental items. The boys packed a couple of their favorite toys. I brought a few kitchen appliances. I'm so grateful that I did. I brought my processor and smoothie maker and just a couple of things that I knew that I would really, really miss. So we packed a few of those things. Uh, we brought cutlery, we didn't really need to, but we had a special set that we'd invested in so we we brought that over and James's toolbox which is very special to him and it just you know just a few home comforts a couple bottles of Mrs. Ball's chutney came along as well so to bring over those 15 boxes we paid 5,594 Rand on South Africa side to seven seas and then once they arrived in the port, it took about, gosh, it didn't take very long at all. It maybe took four or five weeks for it to get here, which was super fast. I was so impressed. Once our boxes arrived in Ireland, we had to pay customs 413 euros to get it delivered to us. So that was just the customs charge and so, all in all, I'm really glad we spent that money to bring those few things over. I'm glad we didn't bring all our furniture because everywhere we've moved, only been two places, but both places have been fully furnished. And I actually don't know what we would have done had we brought furniture with us. It just we would have had to pay for storage or just get rid of it. So that's one thing I'm very grateful we didn't do. We didn't come over with our furniture. We just brought our sentimental items. Now schooling. So we don't pay school fees every month. We do pay a um, kind of like a registration fee at the beginning of the year. Uh, for our boys, it was 80 euros each for the year. And then there's a book rental payment which was around 80 euros as well. But then that's your only cost to the school for the year, which is a big difference from South Africa where you pay monthly for school fees. We also take out um, pupil insurance on the boys in case of any school accidents or on the way to school accidents. And it's like a medical cover that covers all of that uh, for the year which is great. So I think it's really cheap. It cost us, I think last year it was 12 euros for the whole year. So we found that really um, kind of gave us peace of mind. And one thing that was quite expensive was Josh starting first year, the books, or oh my Harry, yeah, they were very expensive, but he uses them for three years so this year going into second year we don't have to buy those any more books for him because he's going to use the books we bought last year so for the next three years he's going to use the same books which is quite a relief and i don't actually now mind spending the money that i did last year on the books it was a couple hundred euro for the books i can't remember the exact amount but i think we were balancing between three and four hundred euro and um, yeah, that was, it was quite pricey. But stationery and um, just regular um, notebooks is not too bad. I probably spend about 50 euros for both boys um, in that regards. Here they don't call notebooks notebooks, they're called copies. 
and when I first got the list, the book list, I had no idea what I was looking for. Copies? What are copies? Copies are things that you make copies of. So, just so you know, a copy is a notebook for school. Another expense that might not be a monthly expense is um, medicine and doctor's visits. So in the last month we had um, a visit to the doctor which was 60 euros for the consult and medicine is not cheap so something just to keep in mind we have applied to be on the drug payment scheme so the drug payment scheme is um, run by the HSC and you it just it kind of caps your spending so if you're having a really expensive month and um, once you reach 80 euros you don't pay further than that so we haven't had a month where we've spent more than 80 euros on medicine so but it's always just good to have and it's not means tested so if you like us are wanting to naturalize um, in ireland it won't count against you when you nat when you're going through the naturalization process and that's also something to really keep in mind there are so many um, government welfare payouts in Ireland that so many people have told me, why don't I apply for this, the working payment or why don't I apply for the back to school allowance? We can't do that because we need to show that we can stand on our own two feet and we're not a burden on the system. So we... Are doing that we are not applying for any of the payouts and um, to show that we are here to live here and not to live off Ireland but to live for Ireland so that's just something to keep in mind um, be very careful if you're applying for GP cards and anything that is means tested just be aware that it could count against you at the end of the day when you're wanting to naturalize and become an Irish citizen. So those are our expenses and that's what we pay on a monthly basis. Every month is different. Some months there's a birthday and some months we go out have to travel to Dublin um, visa costs, all sorts, you know, things change. So, but on average, this is what we pay. And I really hope that this has helped you and in your planning and your decision making and hopefully made things a bit clearer. I do have a video. I'll put the little link up of a grocery shop to Lidl that I did. And I also have a video. I'll put another link for that on renting an island. But all in all, 2022, this is our expenses, or these are our expenses, and I hope this has helped you. So now, depending on my editing skills, over here, <laughs> here, I am going to put just a breakdown of all the expenses in a big total at the bottom, so you can see what we spend in the month and um, it just gives you a clearer picture of your possible expenses so just we're we're a family of five and this is what it costs us to live so if you've made it this far in the video thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it if you like the video you know what to do give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more videos please subscribe we would love to share more of our journey with you have a great week and I'll see you next Saturday.